Hello and welcome to Dungeon Music Theater. Dungeon Music Theater is a channel about music gear and electronic music and us geeking out on it. This is a commentary reaction video to the very first music video I've uploaded and so here we go. So this is some random piano riff, the minor spooky kind of thing that I was playing, triggering a session piano sample, I think session Y. And so we have that piano sample loaded to the iPad. And then that phrase is also loaded onto the GR1. Now the GR1 is a granular synthesizer. You can look it up on Google to figure out what granular synthesizers actually do. There's people that explain it a lot better than me. But I thought it'd be fun to learn about how these things work by loading up a sample. So if you look at the GR1 screen, that's literally the waveform that's uploaded uh, to the GR1 and then I'm using the iPad to trigger the sample and using the GR1 as a, a drone accompaniment to the piano. I don't know. It's somewhat interesting. So I thought to kind of riff on it. Again, not too much thought was put into this. Wanted to make it sort of a one, two take kind of a thing. So obviously the GR1 seems to really excel in making these cool drones. Although I did struggle with finding the kind of source material to granular synthesize. I just kind of figured piano riff is something that would be cool. Okay, so yeah, see now you can hear, you know, this is sort of the typical sound for I think piano where it sounds like a, like a tremolo. Uh, there's a lot of energy to it, you know, like if violins, when they tremolo, there's, even though it's like the same note, there's a lot of energy, and obviously granular synthesis is really good at that. So, one of the cool things about these kinds of workflows is that you get these weird, unexpected results. So, instead of drone-like, where you have a bunch of grains and the density being really high and the length being really long what if you just like shortened it um, it's too bad you can't really zoom in and out of these waveforms so i had to kind of guess where i was but this sort of ostinato vibe here was kind of accidental which is one of the fun things about electronic music and gear because you have these ideas and it's almost like they're your instrument partners that kind of give you a bunch of different other ideas from the ideas that you input. So yeah, I could have come up with this kind of thing, but you know, this just kind of came out by just randomly playing around with it. And I thought this was really cool. Now, it's also midied up, so I'm playing like chords on top of it. Um, it almost sounds like a pipe organ too, which is kind of strange. I try to pick just after the attack and just before the decay, so you recognize that it's a piano. But you know, it's kind of a cool, creepy thing, and it's just like literally four sounds, and it's being triggered in this way. Now, oh, the big sky has just a bit of shimmer. Was it? Maybe it's not shimmer. I think it was chorale, some preset, just to give it a little, little depth. The onboard reverb is not that good on the GR1 and also takes up processing power so you want all the processing power to be on the on the grains so yeah that's that uh, first half is pretty sort of traditional but the second half of that riff was kind of experimental kind of electronic -y. I mean it's something that I just wasn't really thinking about making anything and then it just kind of came to be so um, I think it's really a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed that. 